don't. No, no, no. An unstoppable and deadly invasion. A killing machine wielding deadly heat rays and poison gas. The largest city in the world devastated within hours. No. This was the nightmare. even more terrible you're not, you're not the doing, fact that the marauders were creatures from Mars not, who fed on human blood. And as fantastic as the story was, it struck deep-rooted fear in everyone who read it, and much later caused legendary panic in the streets of America. But why then does this story continue to terrorize us? As modern probes discover more and more about the Red Planet, how close to the truth is this work of science? This is the real story behind this tale. A journey to Yom, the War of the Worlds. How can I describe it? A monstrous tripod, striding over the pine trees, smashing them aside. A walking engine of glittering metal. Are you happy? Are you happy? The I did that for you. Yeah, you're chubby. Chubby as a little bit. In a story by a young British author, H. G. Wells. First appearing as a magazine serial in 1897, The War of the Worlds rips readers from page one. The War of the Worlds was a shocker. And all of a sudden you have a novel where Martians are invading trains.